go by the undeniable name of Dame. Will never been a lame. Oh, this is Jay Willard, the podcast killer, aka podcast poppy, aka the pod father. This here is Willard Wednesdays. You about to get some getting news Uh-oh. from your relationship gurus. Mm. Hold that. Hold that. Hold that. Nice. What's the word? That was good. You see that? You like really? tossed me the gun. Nah, I like. You, yeah. You threw it back. <laughs> hey, bro. <laughs> Anyway, terrible. Uh, <laughs> what's going on, though, brethren? What is what's happening? happening? What's, what's happening? going on in the world? What's going on in your world? Talk oh, to me. No. Talk to us. Shit is good, man. How Shit's was looking your week? up. Week is good, man. Shit is looking up. Shit is looking up. Um, I'm feeling it. I'm, 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 I think we about to capitalize here in Atlanta finally. Uh oh. Yeah, no, I'm feeling good. Uh oh, shit, moving. Got a, that, now that twenty million dollar check now, but okay. uh, no, but shit is shit is good though. Like, <laughs> Cut <is>. the check. <laughs> now nah, shit is moving up, man. I'm feeling good this week. That's what's up. That's what's up. That's what's up. I healed up. Healing. Okay. You know what I mean, I don't got no no. My boy Wolverine no out marks, here. You know, okay. man. I'm healing like a human. All right. Proud okay. Of myself. Okay. Yeah. Got that good insurance. That's right. what it is. That that health insurance kicking in. No, nah, that was just God because I ain't had no insurance. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible. That was just God. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. My arm did not fall off. Cool. So, so that was your week? It's no one else, man. Just tell me your week, man. No, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just making sure <laughs> that you was got it, your bro. shit Go off. ahead. Go ahead, man. I ain't going to cut you off. Yeah, You're that's good. Cr- I'm, I'm asking the question. Go ahead, bro. Okay, cool. My week was entertaining. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> no, no, it was. My, my week was entertaining. <laughs> um, my week was dope. Um my son had his first scrimmage, like, football game. Oh, shit. Which was kind of cool. So, shout out to him on that. Um, and did they win? They won. They won? They okay. they smoked them niggas' oh, boots. Wow. Like, it was bad. Like, they 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 won by, like, eight touchdowns. Like, it was like, <laughs> your seven-year-old sucks compared to my seven-year-old. All right? It's like, why are they even out there? Got them trash-ass kids. No, honestly, I, I, listen, I'm, I'm not a big... I'm not a big fan of consolation prizes or like particip- participation, participation awards. Yeah, yeah. That's some bullshit. Because I, I think that that breeds a culture of, of pussy assness. Yeah, I was I was trying to be politically correct. Pussy assness. Ladies and gentlemen, Dame is back on his Seveca. All right. All right. No, no, all no, right. no, 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 no. Because you and your bag right now. <laughs> <laughs> Dame is here. All right. All right. All right. He's it's took been a, a break. He he was showing love to Ukraine for the past couple of weeks, uh-huh. maybe even months, but now he's back on his Saveka. All right, so I'm not with back that, on it, I just because I've had a good week. Okay, I was like, I want to celebrate and get with, back to this with shit. some bullshit. <laughs> he said, "Fuck it, <laughs> I'm gonna celebrate." With the shit I used to drink, the worst you know possible way. Okay, yeah. but no, yeah. So so um, he he had a game. Yeah, smoked the niggas, which That's was cool. Up. I always love to see little kids cry in defeat. You know what I mean? <laughs> He's <laughs> crying? No, actually, it was weird because they're, they're still little. So okay. if they hit each other too hard, like, they got to stop everything. Because oh, okay. they, they still got to work through it. They yeah. little kids still. That's so that was cool just to watch. Um, Is it like like a big-ass kid? You know how, like, there's always one kid yes. that's too big? No, I... Bro, I'm watching this shit, and yeah. I'm like, there's no fucking way he's seven. This, <laughs> this nigga is big as he's shit. He's clearly 14. Like, how is this kid yeah, seven? Yeah. But, you know, you can't judge a kid. You can't kid shame kid. nowadays. You but, can. Nah, so that was that was one part of the week. And yeah. then, bro, so much shit has happened. It's like, I I just wanted to get back and just talk, because so much shit has happened Every since Every time we, we leave our show. Yeah. <laughs> Everything starts to happen. Everything fucking happens. <laughs> Every it's like time. Jesus Christ. So Man. I was I was excited to get back to these yeah. couches so we can talk. Um I want to shout out to Bari and Lamar. They're not here right now because yeah. they're some bum ass niggas, but it's all right. It's all good. It's cool. We love y'all all the same. They together in the hotel. Yeah. But the real niggas we here, we holding it we down. We chilling. All right. So, we so Willow hotel. Wednesdays is about to be a vibe. We here working. And that's that. <laughs> um, so listen, so much shit has happened. It's true. Like where you want to start. Um, oh shit! I, I know I should ask you a question, and, and then I'm like about to cut you off. But what you about to say? Holidays. Cool. Mother's Day. We on the same page. Okay. Yeah. Bet. Mother's Day has passed. Yes, it has. It just passed. Yes. Every year I get here, and I promise you, I don't know what to say. Oh my god! Every year? No, no. Every year since I've known you, because it's like. All right, guys. So my mom passed. Okay. Well, I don't want it to be like a um, sad. It's thing, not a but, sad thing. But, but what I'm saying yeah, is, for, I don't for, get sad. I, 
I don't know like the words to to say properly to introduce it. So it's like we're all like, yeah, mom, Mother's Day, right, right, right. representing moms and blah blah blah. No, no, I'm like, it's all right. I, no, no, I, I, I'm not sad or anything. It's not like you know, she's just she's just passed, and like she wasn't the shit. You know what I'm saying? I, I can mean, still I celebrate it. my mom being dope on on you that's know what I'm facts. saying on a holiday. Like you could be dope and and pass. Like that's fine. Um, I don't get weary or nothing or nothing strange. But something that did happen to me this year, though, just to tell y'all the truth. I got weirdly emotional because a lot of things kind of happen at the same time. Mm-hmm. Um, it's been years since uh, I've been on the journey of New York and all of that. And it hit me that it's like a milestone. It's been like 20 years since like setting out on the journey in oh, general. Wow. Yeah. And then 10, nine, 10 years in New York and then Mother's Day. And so like I did have a moment where I got super emotional. I didn't know why I was getting emotional. Mm-hmm. Like the one thing about emotions, straight up, is natural. Like you, you don't know. I was just like, why am I in my feelings? Like, like what the, what the hell date is this? <laughs> like, mm-hmm. and it, it was just all kind of shit, man. And I and I realized, oh damn, it's Mother's Day. It's milestone years of yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I've been so doing music for a certain amount of time. I had no idea. I, thought I was super fucking emotional. I got drunk uh, too too much, and um, I was on Facebook. Drunk at like nine in the morning, it was bad. Oh shit! Yeah, uh, deleted everything, so it's all good. as you should, of course. You know, you know, somebody somewhere has that video though. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Yes, I'm pretty sure. Slurring, whatever the fuck. I was oh, about. you was crying on Facebook? I think, no, I wasn't crying. I was just talking, just talking too goddamn much. Got you. But I'm over it. <laughs> like and everything is good. No, but to, but to, to be honest, that's why I asked because yeah. Before I lead off with the Mother's Day was amazing. It's like, like, <laughs> I want to like let's, let's talk I mean, about no, it for but real. It's, it's let's a weird thing. Uh, you know, you can. Um, I don't feel it, it, like I don't get like sentimental about shit, mm-hmm. but it is true that things just they just touch you emotionally, and you don't even know sometimes. Like you have no like no idea. I mean, but it's Mother's Day, my nigga. So I but I'm saying I, I don't even know. Like like same thing happens around my mom's birthday. Mm-hmm. I'm just like, why the hell am I thinking about my mama? You know, you just be like, mama, mama, mama. Goddamn, I'm mm-hmm. trying to do something else, and it's, and it's like. like what the, oh shit! Oh shit! Our birthday tomorrow, uh, whatever. Mm, like, got you. It's real shit. Like, it does happen. Yeah, but got I'm you, good. Got though. you. Got I'm you. Got fine. you. So Mother's Day for me, <laughs> your amazing ass time with your great mom. <laughs> I, 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 that's what that, I, that's what I didn't want to happen. It's like <laughs> I didn't want that to fucking happen. Because <laughs> right. now I come off as a dickhead. It's like no, he just no. gave this great story of his life, and I'm like, well. <laughs> what did y'all do, bro? Well, nothing, because I'm not here with my mom. Honestly, I'm, oh, I'm, 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 I'm here. She's there. Okay. Um, so I just spoke to her. Um, yeah. It was Sunday, so you know she was going to church. She was doing what she's doing. My yeah. mom stayed in the fucking church. But whoa, that was crazy to say. God, stay my fucking mom, blessing people too. My mom stayed in the church. Ass, no, man. but God do be fucking blessing people. <laughs> that's, that's, no, we can talk. Listen, God made us in, in in His likeness, so there's a part of God that's like this. That's, I believe that wholeheartedly. Fair enough. I believe that, but nah, she she stayed in church for her. But yeah, so I I spoke to her um, in the morning and at night. Yeah. Um, my wife is a mom as well. So okay, sure, sure. She, she gets that honored. Was question two: Did you do something for your wife? We, I mean, we both worked that day, but we okay. came home and, and we made we made it a special time. Right. Okay. We we. we I feel like social media has ruined a lot. Everything. You feel me? And, and <laughs> it's kind of like if it didn't happen on social media, then it never happened. Yeah. Or if it didn't happen on the internet, then it never happened. And that shit, is, to me, it's weird, personally. It's yeah. weird. And coming from someone who plays the social media game, because, bro, we're artists, so yeah. we understand running the ads and right. being in front of the people and... and hashtag and everything to get the most yeah. eyes on your shit. I get it. But I firmly believe that there's some shit that doesn't have to be on social media. And I mean, that's me. But no, we, we had a good time. Um, we, we celebrated together. Um, but I had a, a weird situation. It didn't happen to me, but it's a weird situation. I want to talk about it. Men who deal, men who have multiple kids by multiple women <laughs> have a tough ass time yeah. on Mother's Day. All the memes was talking about Nick Cannon. <laughs> like, you feel me? I forgot what it was. It was a meme of like um, like an X-Men or something looking at all the screens. <laughs> yeah. And it was like Nick Cannon on Mother's Day. It was like, yeah. ah, all the Bro, screens. Bro, like the, 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 the mental yeah. psyche, like, honestly, the, the mental... The mental psyche yeah. of a man on Mother's Day 
is crazy because, and not to take away anything from a woman, because if a woman is dealing with someone who has a kid by somebody else, right. they, they go through their shit as well, especially on a day like this. But the man himself. Damn, that's a layer. No, no, no it's, just a, it's a bro. It's a lot that goes a into woman's this. part when you date a guy that has other children and yeah. maybe my oh yeah oh, oh so so we can unpack that. But yeah, I, I, what what I wanted you to just hit me with something I never. What, what I wanted to get to was yeah. If you're a guy and you have two women in your life and mm-hmm. you have kids by both of these women, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. you're with one and you're you're not with the other. Okay, how do you act on Mother's Day? Are you buying gifts and spending time and and doing the Instagram posts and the social media posts? Are you bigging that person up? Are you like, can you do that with someone well, you but know, have a kid with somebody else? You know what I typically see on those days? And, and it's just my experience. What I typically see is the men take the children for the women. The mm-hmm. kind of like relieving the mm-hmm. women. It's kind of like on Mother's Day, you see a lot of fathers. I'm not talking. To, I'm not talking about the physical act Uh-oh. of of the children. I'm talking about how do you show affection to your ex technically while in a relationship, and they're both mothers of your children. <laughs> how do you tiptoe around that? Well, apparently, I have a friend. You buying your ex a Bentley? I have a friend who. Who stole balloons and pretty much gave balloons to everybody? Same balloons. Eh, that's cool. Um, <laughs> Keep it consistent. You just ration out. <laughs> you know, every year he gonna come with a balloon. It's like, well, I mean, it's a but, balloon. But that's, <laughs> no, but is that cool to the woman that you're with? I don't. I don't. I don't, I don't well, well, she just got a bigger balloon. Two, two balloons. <laughs> just, but you, but, you, but no, this no, is the politics. The I'm talking no, no, about. that's a come on, bro. That's a crazy ass dilemma. Um, because because now it's like. Because if the gift is better or bigger, how you're in much trouble. Lo- how much love can you show? <laughs> yeah, you got to show like, yo, so wait a minute. So when you when you have, so you got to show like partial love? <laughs> you, to, be, to be honest. <laughs> you got to be like, I love you, but eh, happy Mother's Day. No, you, There's you, like, no, but you, I love you. Happy Mother's Day. You know, no, you got to be like. So, no, so, so the, the balance. That's crazy. So to me, the wow. balance is. The, the individual that you're with, they get all of the energy. Okay. The individual that you are no longer with, they get the praise for introducing a child into the world. Do you treat them like, you know, you got Valentine's Day and you got like side chick day? No. I'm just... I'm, I, you, I'm, you don't, I'm, go, you don't I'm, do that. I'm, I'm, but... you like, here's the leftover chocolate from last night. I mean... <laughs> what, like, what, what, what I'm saying is... <laughs> let, let me expand on that. What okay. I'm saying is... The individual that you were with, yeah, your ex, you show them love because they bore fruit. Yeah, but how do you celebrate that? Like, without shout out you, to your ovaries. No, no, with, without like, have without no. you, we wouldn't have this beautiful child together. Uh, so thank you for that. But the woman that you are with, yeah, she gets the happy Mother's Day. Like she gets that part. But that's a, a fine line. So it's line. like the bouquet and the rose. Yes. Kind of thing. Yes. Uh. But what happens is us, well, one, we don't, we, there's no class on that. So you have to learn that on the fly. Yeah, because I, I, literally, you, I, I wouldn't know this. You feel what I'm trying to say? Nah, yeah, well, shit. But, that, but that's why. You I, heard it here first, fellas. That, <laughs> but that's why I was like, bro, it's a, honestly, but this happens a lot. Yeah. Once again, I, I'm going to keep blaming social media and the internet. You right. Know? I don't feel like it, it, it used to be like this because shit wasn't publicized like that. So, so I, I, f- I feel like back in the 60s or the 70s, the dad would just leave. That's it. And he will go to the other home. Bro, in the 60s, cats the used kids. to be four blocks away. Like, they would live on the next block yeah, and not know each family. other. Like <laughs> Whole family. Whole family. Yeah, a mile away. Multiple kids. Like, you could walk to your daddy crib and, like, yeah, yeah you wouldn't even know. Just, but now like, it's yeah. like, oh, you didn't post... Tanya, but you posted uh, Sharice, which are two terrible names, by the way. Shout out to Tanya and Sharice. Shout out to my cousin Tanya and my cousin Sharice. Why you you got my Tanya? family, bro. You like, ass? Black, bro. No, you're, that's my a cousin black Tanya. Ass. Hey, Tanya. That's a ghetto <laughs> ass name. Bullshit. Tanya and Sharice. It's not like that with Tanya. <laughs> it's not like that. Sharice, y'all need to y'all need to stop all that fighting. <laughs> like y'all are family. 
Like you gotta, we are <laughs> you gotta stop that shit, all right? Nah, but <laughs> I I feel, I feel for the the brothers. We know on the flip side, women gonna be like, "Well, you shouldn't have put yourself in that situation in the first place, nigga. You shouldn't have been in, in, in. like." But I, 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 we have to show reverence to the individuals who can tiptoe that line and make sure all parties are good because you Some did have a problem. child with that woman and you do have a child with this woman. So there are two women in your life that you got to speak to. I mean, it gets complicated because your family could be connected to, like, let's say you got an immediate family and you have a baby mom's and that family. But then what if your baby mom's has another family connected with that family? Now, the reason I'm pointing that out, like a third family, the reason I'm saying that is because in my head, I was like, yo, I think I found a way to fix it. You can just get all the moms together and just celebrate all the mothers. But then it's like, well, then you're now taking away the celebrations from the other parts of the family that who are also part of this journey. Yo, man, that's that can get very complicated. Wait, but actually... Oh, no, did I kind of solve it? Is that a bad idea? I think I solved it. Well, no, no, no. Let's not go that far. But no, let's, no, no. Let's no I'm a genius. Is that a bad idea? <laughs> no, for, no, 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 no. Let's sit on my geniusness for a second, okay? No, I'm joking. But my, so wait, so so if you got, I think that is a bad idea. It's only bad because it. it's other. No, it, it, it's it's bad. Because... Like okay, if Nick Cannon got mm-hmm. all his baby moms together, because mm-hmm. he can afford it, you know, it's Nick. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Because Nick, he got the bread. Mm-hmm. Get them all together. Take them all out. And it, at that point, you even it all out. I'm gonna tell you why it's bad. Why is that bad? Because women don't feel like they even. Nah, I'm not on this level of this. Yeah, yeah. I was yeah. about to cuss. Mm-hmm. I'm not on the level of this one. Yeah, I seen that happen with Young Jock. Like, I'm what? What, what the fuck? You're love hip hop. Yeah, uh, that would happen. Her? Love hip hop. Yeah. You got me here at Benny Hanna's with right. her. It's like, yeah. And she's I like, I fuck. She fuck. You and, fuck. Yeah, we fuck. And, and, and we she's fuck. like, you're bugging. <laughs> I'm she's a like, we were in love. It's a difference. <laughs> you like? I don't know, I mean, wait, wait. Uh oh. We we got somebody want to say something. Uh oh. Okay. Uh-oh. Wait a minute. Oh, we have a chime in from the audience. Wait a minute, let's talk about it. Hi. You what guys. you thinking? What you thinking? Hi. I'm gonna just make sure you sound good. <laughs> um, I think a large part of that has to do with the the maturity of the females. Okay. Um, or the situation at hand as to how the man ended up with the next woman. Because mm-hmm. a lot of times we see men, um. The, the next woman or the next girlfriend, yeah. fiance, wife, whatever. Sometimes the way he got with her is a little messy. He was probably still with baby mama number one. And so okay. now she has animosity with baby mama number two. Um, there's oh, always mad because of how they started. There's, there's and stuff. always yeah. so I a would lot never of times in a room with that chick, because, right? Yeah. So there's always like this type of discrepancy uh, between contention. the women or whatever the case may be. So that's why we will never be in the same room together. Mm. But if there's a situation where it was like clean break with girlfriend number one, we had a kid. I'm now introducing girlfriend, wife, whatever. Now and we have a kid, right? Um, girlfriend number one may not always like it, but they have to come on some type of common ground because their kids are siblings. Right. Yeah. So and now never we the have kids fault. Exactly. You know, and never, so you can never blame the kid. Exactly. And so now we have <laughs> to hit your mama. <laughs> be in a place where we are adult about it. Yeah. I had sex with you. We have a kid. Okay. Now you're with him. Y'all have a kid. Mm. Um, it's nothing against you, sis, or whatever. You as the man should still celebrate me for our kid. Um, it's nothing wrong with posting a, a post on Facebook or whatever and being like, yo, this is the mother of my child. She's great. She does a so bomb job woman, of course. Mm-hmm. at being his mom or her mom or whatever. And she does what she needs to do. This is my wife. This is my girlfriend. She's right. amazing. And she's mothering our child, raising our child. She's an amazing woman right. or whatever. You're going to go the That's social media. That's what I was saying. If you're going to go the social media route, yeah. you still got, you do have to do your due diligence and acknowledge both women separately or whatever. Just like you would acknowledge your wife and your mom separately or whatever. Because your mom did, your mom, is. that's like saying, oh, well, I don't want my 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 wife to feel some type of way because I just amped the hell out of my mom. But what if, what if, the, let's speak social media in today's world. What if an individual, a man, 
has an Instagram reel. It's a minute long. In that reel, he highlights his mom, mm. his current situation, hey. and a past situation. That's like perfect. These are the mothers. They have either raised me or raised my children. I love them. Thank you for doing what you have done as mothers. That's acceptable. And yeah. as I don't think that would be acceptable. As again, it goes back to wrong. the maturity of the woman. Yeah, cause because because I, I kind of feel like that's a clean way to that's a clean it's, way it's to very shave safe. everything. That's like, very safe. safe. You you just yeah. you safe. just covered that's like, everybody. That's like having a group of and, friends, and that's why it won't work because you covered everybody under the same umbrella. I I me me personally, I don't know. I could be wrong, but I feel like if a man were to do that, it would be consequences. Consequences with the woman that he's currently with because you loot me in with everybody. I'm not your mom and I'm not your ex. I am your whatever you are. Well, I'm going to be honest. You a word person. It's all in how you word that. Because you can word that well. Because if you make that about the children and being mothers, <laughs> it's like it's all true. Y'all can be mad as y'all want to. I don't give a damn what level all y'all are. Aren't you all mothers? So, but wait, wait, wait. Okay, aren't you, okay. aren't, aren't so, you all children? And so, so children? my, my, you know my, I mean? my, my the point, word it correctly. My point is not illustrating a fact or or yeah. false at all. Okay, it's highlighting the feeling that someone has being grouped with someone. Now, for instance, you've done music for a long time. Yeah. You have accolades in certain areas. I'm a bad motherfucker. You, you that nigga when it comes to certain <laughs> shit, right? So imagine being looped in with somebody who doesn't have those accolades. Oh, man. And that was like, what the, yeah, what the, why, the, why the fuck am I here with this guy? Yeah, it happens all This the nigga time. can't even yeah. shine my shoes. He's not. Yeah, yeah. And that's what I'm saying. Yeah. So you can loop everybody in. It's like, right. yes, mothers. <laughs> all b- broad. Mothers. <laughs> mothers. So y'all are great mothers. <laughs> right. Sister, I'm like, get the fuck out of here. I'm not. Yeah. Yes, I'm sorry. You would need to... Okay, so let's say you and I are together and um, I have your child, but you have another baby mama or whatever. Um, You loop us in in a video, cool. I'm not going to lie. I might still expect flowers that morning as like well. Like something personal. I, I, I expect something personal. Okay. I don't necessarily. Because I need to be separate. Yes, from this, that. this does need to be separate or whatever. And that's what I'm saying. Um, to tiptoe those lines. If, but uh, I'm, I'm not mad that you put me in the same video as your mom and the mother of your child. Because fact of the matter is, your mom birthed you, which made her a mom. Ooh. Before you and I got together. You heard it here, fellas. You already had somebody. Who had a child or whatever. You heard it here, fellas. We're out here changing lives. She and I have nothing to do with each other. There is a kid involved. Mm -hmm. And if I love you, then I love your child, which means I tolerate the mother of said child. Because I can't I can't be in a space with that child without the mom kind of not in a healthy, not in a healthy way. I can't be in that space with that child and that mom. Me and that mom aren't coexisting in I a healthy way. I want to go a step way. further. No, wait. Okay, go ahead. My bad. Go ahead. I was gonna give you a segue. Oh shit, we gonna be off of this. So fuck it, let's go. For all the toxic fellas out there <clears throat> who got advice, what we trying to do is give y'all advice here on Willow Wednesdays. That's a fact. We trying we to just. We push, just shut it down for y'all. We're trying to push the community. For all you fellas mm-hmm. with all these baby mamas. Yeah. And you got a mama. We just figured it out. Do the post for mothers. <laughs> it's not going to work. It's going to work. No, it's not. She just said she would have to tolerate it. No, she's... she's all she needs is a rose. No, she says she wants something additional yeah, after but that see, post. But you got to be smart. You said bouquet and a rose. But you just, your rose would be purple. But niggas don't Rose got be money. <laughs> you, yeah. you need money for that. I don't know about you got roses. money. Anyway, man. That post was free. You miss it? You miss my loop? You miss my loop. No, I, I caught it. You're talking <laughs> about somebody with multiple mothers? I mean, multiple... Toxic trait. Men. No? You miss it? Toxic trait. Shit. Talk to me. Talk to Terrible, me. Terrible, man. Segway. So last week, we had a person that passed. Oh, shit. Totally missed out of that. Fuck. Had a person that passed. We got to uh, talk about it. Speaking of social media, speaking of toxicity, open conversation, and um, too many men is upset and too many women is happy. 
<laughs> Yo, just... <laughs> R.I.P. to Kevin Samuels. Kevin bro. Samuels, man. 56 years old. That's crazy. I'm sorry, 56 years young. That's Honestly, crazy. as I get older, it don't seem that far. That's why, but that's why when they say you die too young, I get die too young. You know what I'm saying? Mm. But you died 85. You no, no, 85, give it up. Bro, yeah, like you had a you had a wonderful life. Like you had a wonderful up. life. Hang it up. Hang yeah, it up. like God was What are you still waiting <laughs> like for? Like God was smiling on you. Relax. Hang it up. Hang Relax. It up. 85? Yeah, no, hang it up. Bro. 50? It's like okay. But I've told you before, you don't want anything that's 80. Nothing. You don't. You don't want to get in the car that's 80. You don't want to I sit don't. on the chair that's 80 years old. You be like 80. If like, somebody it. said this car was made in 19 <laughs> Or whatever the matter. Thirties. Yeah, you'd be like, I don't like, want to get it. What the this fuck ain't is this? safe. Like, I don't. It's not. It's not safe. Like, the materials change. <laughs> like, <laughs> like talking about this I don't engine want... held together by <laughs> fucking tar and right. paper clips. I'm good. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'm cool. I don't want nothing. This eighty. I don't want no no materials. But no, uh, Kevin Samuels passed away. Yeah, man. Um, cardiac arrest. Heart attack. Heart attack. Same. Um, he was with a young. He was. A, he was with a, a woman. He was with a woman. A beautiful woman, by the way. I, I'm. I'm going. I'm going to just speculate. Okay. And say that either Cialis or Viagra was involved. He got a little. He was. I mean, they. They had a hell of a night. Right. Do you. You. Do you watch Kevin Samuels' videos? Here and there. I watch the clips. I. I don't tune in live when he's going. All right. I so. Don't. He's always drinking Red Bull, bro. Seeing that shit fuck with him. Yo, and I'm not even trying to make a joke. Don't roll, don't roll your eyes. Yo, on every show, he drinks Red Bull. Was he sponsored? I don't know. He probably was. But you 50-something years old, bro. You need to relax on the Red Bulls, fam. Like, I'm just... So you think Red Bull did him in? It's cardiac arrest. It's Red Bulls. I'm no, just like... I, I, I think he was fucking. I think he was fucking, too. I'm pretty sure they probably because, had something be, to because drink. Because her, her account was, he stood up. Yeah. He then grabbed his chest and said something, whatever he had said, and then fell on top of her. Right. So how close was y'all that he fell on top of you? <laughs> y'all, what, what the fuck was going he didn't on? Stumble in the room. Yeah, no, exactly. <laughs> y'all, y'all was already close. He said, "Ah, ah." Yeah, got you. So my that thing is, sense. listen, that vibe, that, with the, the blue chews. Oh, all, he might have been blue chewing it. All, all them shits that they sending out. All the you see the the commercials on what? Are you still on Snapchat? I don't know if you I know Snapchat. about the Bluetooth. Yeah. Bluetooth, they, they on Snapchat religiously yeah, with yeah. the commercials. Like, they just mm. running ads. So, I, he might be an ambassador of them, of them shits and fucking lost his life. Goddamn Kevin Samuels. Yeah. But I do want to say, I, it, it's kind of disheartening that so many people were okay with someone dying. And that would kind of bother me. Yeah. That bothered me a little bit. I don't never believe in preaching death on people's life and, and celebrating the, the you know, because at the end of the day, this man still had a family. You know, I don't know his family, but you know what I'm saying? Mom, sister, no, but auntie, bro, uncle. I, I, I'm not and sure. And it's still a human being. I'm not know? sure how active you are on these Twitter streets, but Twitter. Oh, no, they going hard. Twitter was going fucking nuts. No, no, but he's like, that's what I'm saying. He's like, he, um, he's like an anti-hero. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, he's an anti-hero. He's one of the people that a lot of people follow, a lot of people fuck with, but a lot of people love to hate him. A lot of people love, they follow him to... But but for you to love to hate in death is crazy to me. That is crazy to me. That's the ultimate anti-hero, bro. No, that's crazy, that's... bro. The fact, the fact that people were like, aha, your hero is dead is kind of nuts to me. Like, that's yeah. what we are as a society. It's a That's lot of crazy to me. Now, like, bro, literally on some like, this is your king, this is your leader. Like, bro, he just lost his life. A family is grieving. No matter what, no matter what this man has said, if you agree or disagree, no matter what his ideologies were. Right. And to be honest with you, to me, the way I took it, he just wanted to see the the best black man and the best the best black woman together. The best version of that. That's all he was. Pre- that's all he was preaching to me. It. I could be wrong. It speaks to the greatness, and I, I'm because the same way how you can impress people a hundred percent and become the actual hero. You can uplift. You can you can uplift, but you can also become the anti-hero because 
at the end of the day, it's all about the conversation. And that's what Kevin Samuel was doing. He was, I'm not saying that he was right all the time. That's trash. I didn't agree with everything he said. I didn't disagree with everything he said. Um, and it's ironic because I was literally watching him the night before. I, mm-hmm. I, for some reason, it was it was during that same time I was going through this weird emotional thing. And mm-hmm. I was like, I need Kevin Samuels in my life. Mm-hmm. Like, I was just, and I promise you, I was watching, I watched like four hours of Kevin Samuels. Damn. And, and, That's and a I, whole lot. No, seriously. I was going for no reason. I don't know why. I don't know. Maybe I'm in tune with... See, let me not get into that. Uh-oh. Nah, 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 nah. Nope, nope. Talk about it. So... Are you a warlock? Nah. <laughs> Can you sense death? Nah. I just... I notice as I get older and the less I drink, I'm starting to get in tune with something that's like higher. Your spirituality. Because I'm not drunk drunk as I used to be. You know what I'm saying? Got gotcha. you. Yeah. Okay. So it's it's very I would never watch that's Barry's man. Like Barry loved Kevin Samuels. That's a fact. That's a like fact. Barry, one of his tats, yo, Barry, bro, I'm pretty sure you got a Kevin Samuel tat somewhere. Like, I'm pretty sure. High value man. Sorry. <laughs> Just like right here. <laughs> I'm, telling you, I'm a high that's value. That's Barry's guy. And he'll be telling me the city said, and I was like, I, I don't care. You know, but for mm. some random reason, I was like, yeah, I just feel like watching a lot of Kevin Samuel. And I watched mad videos. And so when I woke up, he was dead. And that's what I tweeted. I was like, talk about waking up being dead. <laughs> Are the rumors true? Like, yeah. and everybody's laughing because remember, it was just rumors at first. Yeah. But I did, man, dog, um, I think that he was just good at having a conversation. And, and to be honest, men have never, we've never held court on women being responsible. It's always about men mm. being responsible. And he was the first one to say, nah. Fuck that. That's what you think? That's stupid. <laughs> and that's why shit is wrong. Can I can I piggyback off of that? Um first one. For the first time in life, I realized that because of that man, yeah. I realized that women don't want the truth. Oh yeah. No. Why why would no? And uh, t- to be honest with you, like it it reared his ugly head every single time he had a hot take. Mm-hmm. Because if this is the truth, right, and you want the truth, right, the response and the reaction would be better, right. And he did. he 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 was met with opposition and oh fuck out of here. And it, it 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 was never like a hmm, okay wait I, I I can see how you got there. It and he was the first person to to quantify it. You know how we 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 do our movie reviews and we say five is good, yeah, one yeah. is bad. He said, so are are you a 10? And just everyone, 10, 10, 10. It was like, well, if it's so many 10s, facts. why are we all unhappy? Facts. What is going on? All of these 10s just running around. Like, everyone's a 10? Mind you, he had Nicki Minaj on the show, and she did not give herself a 10. Mm. So that goes to show you the mindset that we're talking about. That's crazy. Yeah. And 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 I think the first video I ever seen of him, that one of the first ones I saw that went viral, is it was a woman. I remember she her age. She was like thirty, like maybe forty something. She was she was one. She was older. She was forty mm-hmm. something, and she had like four kids. And he said, "Would you consider yourself a dime?" She like all day dime. You forty something with four kids, chick. Like I, how the fuck? What do you? What that's what you think when you walk outside? You got four baby fathers. You, yeah, it, like yeah, why? You, and and you looking crazy out here. And now what? I, the only thing I. I'll shoot him some bell on this. What didn't go viral was him talking about men. Facts. And he came at niggas a lot. <sighs> and that's the one like, thing. He came Loki, at men a lot. This is lot. one that, that Barry told me just to, to and he showed me, you know, he showed me the video. He went at a dude for real where a guy, he was like, how much money you make? Dude said like 20000 Some Some little lump number. He mm-hmm. was talking about all I want is dimes. All I want is dimes. He was like, you okay, cool. He said, how big is your dick? Straight up. Mm-hmm. How big is your dick? And he was like, I mean, I'm cool. You know, I'm out here. He's like, nah, bro. You trying to act like you don't have no money. <laughs> you decent looking. And you ain't got no dick. You trying to be out here with, you know. <laughs> you ain't got no money or no to, dick. <laughs> bro, <laughs> you broke. You got a little <laughs> dick too, bro? Like, you, it's you, over. You, you can't do you this. You got a high valued man. <laughs> yeah, I was like, yo. No, but to be honest with you, that's the mindset. And I just, and I hate is that, that. Is that Darwin? Survival of the fittest? Yeah. Yeah. You got to be fucking fit to survive. I just hate that. If you're not, I fit hate that those clips didn't go viral, 
And so every time the woman, not the woman, every time women would argue with him, they would say, you come high down on women. He'd be like, I do this to men too, but y'all don't post that. Y'all only post. Which is not his fault. And his fault at Because he puts the content out. I've heard him. Yeah. I've I've heard that content on men, and I'm talking had me like, damn, what well, shit? I right, ain't maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I got songs, nigga. Like, I be rapping, nigga. Fuck you. Like, I felt the way too. I value, <laughs> nigga. I value, nigga. <laughs> nah, this. But I just I fuck with the conversation though, man. I did. I just fuck with that because I for the first time we got to hear it, and then we got to see the reactions. And like you say, it was front and center, and yeah. you got to see the people react. Like, nah, fuck that. Fuck my six marriages. I deserve everything to everybody. It's like, what? Bro. Yeah. yeah. And to quantify it. Ooh. And, and, and to be honest, mm. just to speak to that, I, I, I appreciate that. Yeah. Because that has changed the world. Yes. Because now, honestly, I don't know if you've seen this on social media, but I've seen it. Mm-hmm. Um, a woman would, would be just... just out there showing, you know, what she has to offer. Right. And it's cool. Mm-hmm. And then a comment would be, but what's your credit score? Ah. Uh, because now it's like, yeah, you you might look good. You might dress good. Right. You might, you know, be lit on Instagram. Right. Are you financially stable? And, mm. and, and that's a boundary that we have set because of people like Kevin Samuels. It's like, if you want to be a high-valued woman... What do you bring into the table other than your looks? Because looks fade. So are you a good financial asset? Are you a good emotional asset? Do you make me feel better about myself? It's like, what do you do? I'll give you one more that that he broke down. Just Mm -hmm. real quick. He broke down the strong, independent woman mindset. Mm -hmm. Because, yes, you can be cute. Yes, you can make money. Mm Mm-hmm. Where does that leave us? Looking good with money. So, but I just like the conversation because a lot of women will argue with him and say, well, I make six figures. Cool. What do you expect? Well, the man got to make seven. Clearly, I'm making six. It's like, well, where are they? Just in general. Where you you make six? Shout out to you. You make $120,000 a year. So a man got to make double what I make or triple, quadruple what I make. Okay. So where's your millionaire? You did it. Yo, you, I, <laughs> you made it. I did research. I was uh, like, bro, I just never thought about that concept because she'd be like, the age of a millionaire is oh, yeah, we talking about that. 50 years old. <sighs> 50, mm-hmm. right? So one thing that he did do, I, I know we, we preaching on it, but once again, fuck it. The man lost his life. Yeah, we got to talk on we it. We're going to talk about it, whatever. We, don't, we ain't never talked about but this man this much. The, the average give him, give him age bit. of a millionaire is mm-hmm. in the 50s. Mm-hmm. So we in our 30s, upper 20s, lower 30s, and we just run around living life. We're, women are expecting you to be a millionaire. It's like, that's not a normal occurrence. But neither is she. And that's the part that is like, what are you talking about? Like, I get that you independent raising your kids by yourself because you don't need no man. Which is the, 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 it's like, but if you don't need a man, it's like, well, what, what you know? Where does a man fit in your life? What happens is I don't need a man, but if that man made six figures, right? Then I need then the man. you need him. And just to hear the women, just to hear that, just like it's a concept, but just to hear the women get so mad versus just saying just just for a second, just be like, huh? Let me just think. Yeah, let me process that. Just process it. Not even that you agree. You can completely disagree, but just it was it was sad to watch so many women over and over. Just not even processing. And man. you know what's funny? Fuck you, Kevin. That's why. That's why we don't like you. Just coming to black women. It's like that's not it at all. It's really a concept. I'm trying to get I, you to understand. But I, you, I want to. I want to oh, speak to. I want to speak to. I want to speak to that. I want to speak to oh, that God, because God. we have a show where it's four guys most nights. It's all about. It's only two of us. Yeah, it's two. Two now, but four guys most nights yeah. talking shit about. Uh, the male and female dichotomy. Right. Right. We talk shit about our reactions, our relationships between sure. each other, how we relate to one another. That's that's what we that's what we do, right? right. Um he highlighted everything, but it wasn't pushed to the forefront, right? What was pushed to the forefront was him 
quote unquote chastising a yeah. woman. And I don't like that. Right. That, that narrative. It's, it's a bad narrative, but, a bad narrative. But that's what was pushed to the forefront, right? Right. But his actual message was more so of, I want everybody to be their best form of self so we can have high powered, high valued relationships. Right. And it, and it's like not. I want everybody to be the best so we can be the best. But and, that gets looked over. And he would say that. But those no, not the viral clips. Exactly. He would do the show, talk to the people, everything. You laugh, we feel the way, you know, fuck up, fuck him, they crazy. In the end, he'd be like, this is my point, everybody. <laughs> the point is... <laughs> Bring it back home. <laughs> yeah, like, I, wanted, I want us to understand, but you got to start with the reality check. No one wants the reality check. The reality check is because hard. You, you have to take ownership right. of, and, of wrongdoing. And that's why I think that's what the... I'll say it. That's what, that's what the women don't understand that the men understood about it. We didn't agree with everything about Kevin Samuels, mm-hmm. but we saw that it's starting with just the reality check and the viral clips went viral for a reason because it showed a person not accepting just the reality check, not even the steps. We can go to the steps to fix it and what's next. And it was just the reality check. It's like you're four, eight, 350 pounds. Right. You have four kids by four different men. Why do you feel like you deserve Michael B. Jordan? Why? It's like, yo, wait a minute. What the and fuck is going you. on? You don't like black women. Yeah, like, oh, no. you should be disrespectful to a black woman. It don't no. make no sense. No, no, no. I get, I get it. Because if a dude is four eight with four chicks, it's with over. four babies, it's he can't. Over. He don't deserve it's Rihanna. Over. He don't deserve her. <laughs> or her twin. <laughs> like, he don't deserve her. <laughs> it's like there's a reality check. That's crazy. So rest in peace, sir. No, no, for real. Rest in, peace. rest in peace. Rest in peace. I'm mad that Viagra or Cialis took my boy out. Probably Blue Chew. B- B- and Blue the Red Chew. Bulls, bro. Yeah, fucking Red Bulls and Blue Chew took my boy out. I'm mad at that. You think it was rum and Red Bull? And Red no, you Bull. Know, it, it's funny. I'm, he, I, I didn't know. He, I didn't know he had stage three cancer. Like I, 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 I who said that? He, he said that. He said that. He had stage three had cancer. Had no fucking idea. Yeah. I only heard cardiac arrest. That, I'm not. I'm not. I don't. I don't know if that's the cause of death or if it was a factor. Damn. But he has on multiple interviews. He discussed how he had stage three cancer. Wow, real shit. And but that's why I feel like somebody, somebody who's on borrowed time, they're gonna give you the real. I'm not here to bullshit. Yeah, I'm not bullshit. I got, so I I only got months. So if you laughing at Kevin Samuel death, you missed the point. And and that's was my issue with this. There yeah. were so many people yeah. that was like, "Ha ha, your hero is gone." It's like, no, somebody lost their life, yeah. <laughs> and for us to celebrate that, that's nuts to me. But I let niggas live with that. Um, something else that people got to live with: Young Thug, Young Thug. <laughs> we got to talk about it. We do. We'd be fake if we didn't talk about it. Um, the whole YSL gang got fucking picked up on a RICO charge. And for those who don't know who or what a RICO is, yeah, it's just a racketeering in in conspiracy of it's it's the mob the the mafia charge the mob bosses charge. Oh, oh when you when you okay when you you in cahoots yes. With everybody. It's either Got you. you knew some shit was happening or you was around when some shit was happening. Got you. And because of that, they got you're your going ass. down. They got your ass. You know they and typically do that with the with the uh bigger name celebrity too. But but that's but that's, that's what I'm saying is to me, I I, I personally hate the charge. Oh, I think I did it. <laughs> you, this you, tree has been whooping my ass the whole time. Trees and shit. Sorry, but sorry. I, I I I personally hate the charge. You hate the charge? Yes, because I don't have to prove that you did anything or that you were around when anything happens. But if you ever claim to be a part of this gang set, you go down. Okay. And that's why I say I don't approve. Do you know the details? Yes. I'm not sure. I got him here. No, because the details are important. Because how they got him is kind of weird, bro. I mean, no, the details it's, are very important. It's weird, but you, niggas be leaving receipts. Bro. Yo, niggas Grammy not the Grammy award winning rapper. Young Thug and Gunner. Mm-hmm. It's both of them. 
and 26 other members of the YSL gang have been indicted mm. on 56 counts mm. in a RICO case. That's almost uh, Bill Cosby counts. <laughs> Young Thug was also accused no, of renting me. a car okay. that was used in a 2014 murder. And this is the part that's interesting to me. He rented a car. Car was later used. Somebody died. Right. Um, it's just a lot that has happened in the last day and a half, two days. They ran up in one of his properties, uh, Fulton County. Hmm. Fulton County. That's it, here. It, bro, it's, it's news because we're here now. And when we're here now, shit is happening. Oh, because now. now I know, like, no area wise. Exactly. Okay. So he has a property in Fulton County. He mm-hmm. was there. The cops ran up in there, arrested the nigga, brought him out in cuffs. Damn. I'm not sure if Gunna turned himself in or not, but he's listed as somebody who's an accomplice in this Rico case. That's um, crazy. Yak Gotti, this, this bro, there's so many low level rappers. Yeah, the names was crazy. It's some yeah. dude named Umfoon. Yeah, <laughs> I was who that was Umfoon. It was this one. No, for real, is it doing it like Unifuni or some shit? <laughs> I was trying to read through it. I was like, yo, you better, you better get off Unifuni, bro. We're not gonna disrespect <laughs> yo, these. We're niggas, not gonna disrespect bro. Unifuni. I got you. It's, nah, it's nah. Uh, Yak Gotti, Pee Wee, Roscoe, hey, hey. The, um, uh. Thug's brother's oom foom. Oom foom. I told you some, some oom shit. I was like, what the fuck is that? I'm like, no, he did that. I don't know what the fuck. Yo, that nigga Bro, did th- it. They're indicted. Um, <laughs> I'm making fun of criminals, but that's why. YSL funny. is a criminal street organization since 2012 that has close ties with the Bloods gang organization. But what happens is um, YFN Lucy, who's in jail right now, has had multiple attempts on his life and now they're saying it's because of Young Thug and his gang. So, once again, all they have to do is prove that you have a criminal organization that is either selling drugs right. or carrying out physical harm on other people. And what happens is they can hit you with a Rico. Right? And if they're talking about 2012, it's 2022. That's a decade worth of whatever you said in your lyrics, whatever happened in real life. Yo, Young Thug's mom, I'm sorry, Young Thug's baby mother just got shot and killed at a fucking bowling alley like two months ago. So it's like they got they got a lot of shit to go on. And now he's pulled in and arrested on a Rico. So do we talk about the obviousness of it? What's, what's the obvious the, the obviousness of it? The obviousness of it is words of power. Words mm-hmm. of power for. I need us all <laughs> to woo for a second and just think. Every single young rapper that gets on speaking the same type of shit within next two, three years, end up in jail, indicted, caught, doing something. Now, Bobby I don't murder. I don't know if they dry snitch. Well, Bobby Smurda dead ass dry snitch. Like, yeah, he did. It's over him. Like, we get it. Like, bro, you, he pointed the date out. You, Mitch <laughs> caught a body. About a week ago. It's like, so when the album come out? Nigga, a week ago? Yes, my nigga. You can't put the real date, fam. Like, what's wrong with you? Mm. <laughs> but everybody else, bro, everybody else that represents this kind of life, I, I, I kind of think, so let me go where I was going. My bad for my brain moves. I can't get mad at a Rico charge. Mm-hmm. I'm a. It, it's painful because I like Young Thug. I fuck with Thug. Yeah, I really do. Thug is nice, but I also feel like you're you're literally giving people the ammo every time they listen to everything that you do. Mm-hmm. Every time, like you, you're saying I used to be on 79th and shit. It's like that's where they going. <laughs> fuck with my baby mama 89 that's her house so technically you know what I'm saying I used to yeah. sell drugs on 2000 that's where they go you know like yeah. but bro you are literally telling people everywhere you do everything it's like fam I could catch you like yeah. it's not even hard like, I'm not even a professional I'm not a professional at all bro yeah. you know and then and then <laughs> on some dumb shit you he always blooding 
Always. Throw shit up. So it's like, okay, connection with the blood. Well, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You could watch. It's like my dude. Like you, and, 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 and he, he became the biggest out of the group. We don't gonna, but he became the biggest out of the group. But fam, you've been just literally just giving us a roadmap. You made your own ego charge. Like you incriminated yourself. <sighs> like throughout your career, I I, I agree with the the self incrimination the I whole time though, I and and I need young rappers. I mean, I'm gonna let you go because I know I'm no, no, bro. Get get in your bag, my I nigga. Need, talking shit. I've been rapping for a lot of years. I've never had any affiliations with nothing but skating, <laughs> nothing, mm-hmm. and that ain't criminal to skate, nigga. I would never if I did if I committed a crime, even if I fictionalized my crime, I'm not gonna give you clues. <laughs> 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 Niggas be for real giving clues. Fuck, bro. Like, and, and they keep doing it. And like, this is cool. All the niggas in Chicago do the same shit. That's why everybody's shot and locked, locked up and dead. It's, it's like, bro, you be telling niggas every yeah. time. That's, That's the stupidest shit I've ever heard in my fucking life. I understand you want to you, you want to prove that your gangster is real. I understand. If it's real rap, it's real rap. That's cool. Mm-hmm. But not real to the point where you are literally telling the police what you did, fam. That don't make no sense, my nigga. Like. You gotta stop, like, and that's, I'm, I'm, that, that's that's the fine line with this social media shit. Once again, tired of it. niggas want. I'm not saying they, I'm not gonna say that they're clout chasing, but niggas want to be viral so bad, right? <laughs> you want to be the, it and lit so bad that right. it's like, yo, I'm gonna talk about whatever it takes to get eyes on me. That's crazy to me, man. And now you get them eyes on you, and you can't get them off you. Black people, you cannot attach your raps to real crime. No, that's stupid to me. That's that's dumb. Stop. That's <laughs> like, dumb. It just is dumb. anything. Stop. Like it's, it's dumb. fucking stupid, fam. Like, and I'm tired of niggas getting wrapped up, or I'm tired of niggas getting locked up over rap. Because when they go through the songs, it's the real truth. I don't know if you ever saw <laughs> if you ever saw that uh that Keen's Peel skit where the dude, uh, it was uh I think it was Jordan Peel. And he was in, no, it was a rap song. And he was just saying, my man to the left to me shot that dude to the right. And he was like, what are you saying? What are you saying? Like, this is really, he was like, and then he took the money. And then it was like, it was like, yo, bro, he was, he's, real he was like, he's snitching. He's like, yeah. no, nah, I'm just rapping. Like, no, no. And then he went down to the mall and took everything. Bro, you cannot give your real accounts on music and then not expect to get caught. And, and low key, that don't make you look cool. You look like a snitch and you look like a dumbass, bro. Like this. Listen, if, if niggas get arrested off of some shit that I said, I'm the dumbass. Yes. Because you, you put it because to a song. I, I chose to make that fucking lyrical. Yes. What? And, and make it rhyme. <laughs> it's rhythmic. Nigga. It's now poetic in you a sense. You found a beat to it? Yeah. Like, I, I, I put it on... I, I recorded it on wax, which meant I, I felt good about it. And now we have this tangible... <laughs> the product it's the, that can be used against me. Bro, this shit is dumb as shit. Why do dumb. we do that? So I wanted to get mad because I felt like in the beginning, oh shit, here they go again, locking up black people. I'm not like black people that's doing crime and telling you about it. Like, lock them niggas the fuck up. Nigga, the way I feel, fuck these niggas. Don't be out here d- I, criming I, and rapping. That's I, stupid. I, I, I would say this. I would say this. Um, <laughs> Criming and rapping. Stupid. <laughs> um, I don't agree yeah. with disclosing what may happen behind the scenes because once you disclose it, you can't take it back. Right. And that's that's the whole argument of using rappers' lyrics in the court of law. Right. I feel yeah, like, yeah, of course. To me, is is I get it, but it's bullshit because. Nas never spoke about his life. He spoke about his cousin's life. Right. You feel me? Like, but then he also but technically didn't... with with Nas, you would think that he was one of the biggest and one of the most influential Yo, niggas and, in and, the game. And just for, for for a second, he was literally in a lot of them situations for real. But what he never did say is on this date <laughs> at this time, I was walking down that street, and this person did that to the. He just said he didn't incriminate himself. Cool. He did. He he didn't say that in the details that you just highlighted. But right. but a lot of the stories was true, and in a lot of the stories he put himself there. So what I'm saying is, that's early '90s, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like policing has changed since then. One hundred percent. So 
if the policing was on the same level that we have now, back then in the early 90s, oh, yeah. Nas would Look, be locked Jay-Z up. Jay-Z would be in jail. <laughs> they would all be in jail. Why? Because yeah. a rapper at that time was just... And this is why I say I want to shoot them some bail, right? Okay. Rap, to me, has not changed, right? A good rapper, a good lyricist, says what he or she sees. Right. Says what he or she may be involved in, right. not directly, but involuntarily. I, I live in this project building, and this is what I've seen growing up in this project building. But what happens is, as technology advances and as people advance, now I can investigate what you just said. I can look into more what you just said, but you can't tell me in the early 80s and the 90s they weren't talking about some shit that could have been investigated, but it just wasn't. They, they It could have been, but I'm going to tell you the truth. They do it in movies all the time. They mm-hmm. do it in drama series. And they always say it's a dramatization. And then there's one small claim that they always say some names have been changed. Or altered. Or altered. For, yeah. For, 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 they always say for... Um, I can't think of the end of it, but uh, it, it, uh, do you know what they? Dramatic what is it? Dramatic purposes. Dramatic fucking purposes. Cool. Yes, you, I don't say Shakira and Jason and Jabari were there doing yeah. shit. No, no nigga, no. like uh, my my nigga Steve and Mac. Yeah, Mac and, and, and the King, <laughs> the Queen Cornrow over Sex. there Sex. sitting there on her phone chewing that damn gum. Queen Cornrow. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid. Come on, Queen Cornrow. No, but you're right, though. But they, right. they do it on purpose because they don't want to incriminate people. Yeah. These niggas now is like, fuck it. My cousin Steve Johnson, Social Security number 3324. Like, Shot nigga. 45 <laughs> niggas. Like, like, and yeah. that's the song. 45 niggas. 45, 45 niggas. Nigga, 45 <laughs> niggas. My cousin Steve. Shot. Shot. Hey, 45, 45 niggas. niggas. Come on, Steve. 45, 45 niggas. niggas. And I was there. Oh, niggas. and I was there. I was there. It's like, nigga, what you niggas. doing? It's like, yeah, you incriminated your whole family. <laughs> Fuck. Like, Everybody gone. So it was like, his cousin. His cousin's really... St-. Yo, the police probably be like, seriously? <laughs> what Dave Chappelle should open and shut case, Johnson. <laughs> like, nigga, we... Fuck. Like, his cousin's name's Steve, nah, and he shot 45 it's, people, it's and he bad. was there. Like, it's bad. It's the bad. The fuck? My it's nigga, bad. like, you are telling us the case. It's bad. It's bad. <laughs> Rico charges. Boom. <laughs> But that's that's why we're here now. Fuck. Niggas catch a Rico. And to be honest with you, that's Fed time. And I, I don't want to speak negative because I never want to see. We always want to see our people yeah, win. I, I, bro, I never want to see man. my people in, in, in cuffs and chains and yeah, locked yeah, up. Yeah. It's not looking good. It, it's this not point, looking good. Fam, I know. It's not looking good. I know the young thug is a blood. And the, all the videos they got. you Okay. The one clip, which is funny, where he's sitting next to the dude where the dude is doing this weird shit. Have you seen that video? Yes. It's, if he, and the dude was sitting there like, they be like, yo, you sus, bro. You was up with your mans. And he and that be like, oh, L, D. It's like, yo, relax. Like, you are so. No, no, no. He, he's claiming his set, my nigga. Like, that's so what So when he, he say ties with the bloods. You, you, you can't deny it now. So. And that that's why, honestly, I'm, I'm afraid because they love to make an example. No, bro, they fucking love to yeah, make an example. And and we what's go going to happen is, and I hope it doesn't, but yeah. what might happen, they going to try and throw the book at this nigga. No oh, matter, yeah. No matter how much rapper oh, no, money no. he and, got. And he got, a lot of, and he got a decent amount of money. You know they're going to try to bleed him dry. Bro, bro they're going to bleed, they gonna bleed they, him dry. They're going to throw the book at this nigga. Yeah. Like, yeah. You, you was doing this, this, and this. They always and, do that. Bro, but he is historically known as one of the leaders of this set. But he's also a leader of the culture. So it's a lot going on. You feel me? Bro, it's fucked <laughs> it's up. It's a lot going on. It's fucked on. up. I, so, I, feel like, I feel like he's going to get a bad break. So I I, I wanted... I feel bad. Because I, granted, he, he may have made wrong decisions. I still don't feel like nobody should be locked like a fucking animal in cages. and Like, I... I'm I'm still against that, but if if that's what you call rehabilitation, I guess. But well, this is a conversation we have to revisit. Like honestly, on some just some different shit, because I feel a different way. Mm. I'm an artist, bro. 
you feel like niggas should be locked up and and in chains and and all that shit. But You're I feel cool like that? I feel like when uh, should we can we drink bro, some talk vodka? talk your shit, bro? Do you do you feel like that's that's an acceptable um, repercussion? I'm trying to think of a way to say it. I feel like if you represent criminality first, you represent negative energy first, you represent, you don't represent struggle. It's the difference between representing struggle and what you have to do to get about the struggle. And it's another thing to represent criminality. People who represent criminality, man, even on an artist standpoint, like you put that energy out, criminal things happen to you. If you represent love first, love loving things happen. If you represent okay. fun, fun things happen. It's like it's with black people, bro. Our intent is our only superpower. Okay. And I don't like it. I, I've never liked it. I will. I will never support people who, for real, represent criminality. Like if, uh, like, okay, Fifty Cent made the song "How to Rob." It's one song. I get it. It was shock value. But let's say he made that his career. Mm. How to Rob Part 2. Part 3, Part uh, 5, yeah, Part 6, yeah. Part 7. By the time you get to mixtape 8 and you get robbed and shot and killed, I'm like, well, I mean, you know. You, you've been speaking about it You put so that long. shit out, bro. You yeah. represent criminality, my nigga. That's not what black people put in our shit. But once you go ahead and then show you how you move it, shut up. <laughs> so, yeah, you know, once you get to the point where you understand it's also this, but it's also this, mm. and then you move away from that. You move into business. You move into other shit. You're not just... 50 Cent doesn't represent criminality anymore. He's a fucking mogul. But no, more than that, he represents what you had to do to survive to get on. And what you do to make... And then what you do now. Yeah. I still kind of feel like them niggas represent com- criminality. Is that weird? Like, no, no, no. I, I, I get it. I get it. Like, they still... His I name is Gunna, bro. Anybody with Gunna your name, like, it's so hard to... What's Master P, brother? Uh, Mayor to Monica, whatever. Uh, Matt, fucking um, fuck, shit. What was his name? Murder C. Murder C, bro. Murder, Murder C. C. I can't defend him. Do you understand? Like, oh no, Murder C definitely didn't murder him. Nah, I, <laughs> if, this, if I don't agree with no, no. other name, I'm like, no, it's funny because I get it. <laughs> it's I like nigga, it. like I, I get it. Even I'm like, uh, your name is Triple Homicide. <laughs> it's nigga, like, nigga, like, what? I can't. <laughs> I can't Your be like triple homicide loves the triple kids. Triple homicide. Triple homicide loves the kids, nigga. Like it don't what? Work. Like it's it don't a, work. It don't that's work. your name, bro. It like, don't work. Fuck? No, that's hilarious. So nah. <laughs> Yo, no, it's funny because no. you put that energy mm. out here. Mm. 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 So where was it gonna stop? Oh, fights, 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 fights. Speaking of triple homicide, <laughs> fucking. The, we got this do nigga, Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson or or Dave? I mean, they both fought. Okay, so we go we gonna way. end the show with the last two fights of the week. We go, we go either way. You <laughs> let me know. You wanna go Dave first? Let's do Dave first. Cool. Um, Dave Chappelle. Cause we gotta talk about. It. Yeah, he's having a um a stand up comedy <laughs> show. Um, he's on stage. He's delivering his jokes. A yeah. random fan runs up on stage and tries to tackle him. It's just crazy. It's crazy. The world stops for a little bit. Um, security rush the stage. This nigga get his ass whooped. The pictures of the individual who ran the stage and tried to tackle Dave Chappelle. <laughs> Yo, the arm. Bro, I can't even do the. He got <laughs> his ass I'm trying to... whooped. No, I was sitting in the mirror trying to be like. I couldn't even. It couldn't Bro, even force my arm the way he that got his ass whooped, my nigga. Yo, and the yo, all of the, the honestly, I'm not gonna front. The Dave Chappelle comments was hilarious. He was like, I went back and stumped him too. Uh, <laughs> he was like, well, yeah, I never had a chance to stomp out someone. Like, fuck it. I, I you know, know what I didn't like from that? The yeah. whole situation. Yeah. I'm glad Dave Chappelle is safe and okay. Um, yeah. I don't feel like if, if, we do this podcast, right? If, yeah, if somebody yeah. run up on the fucking set while we're delivering the podcast, they're like, my nigga, what? Like, yeah. you're going to get fucked up. Yeah. But it's like, why would you do that while we're working, right? Yeah. So I, I hate when people's job are, are interrupted. But 
Was it uh, Chris Tucker? Was it, was, was it Chris Rock? Chris Chris Rock was like, was that Will Smith? I thought that was hilarious. No, but that shit to me was corny. It's, ah, no, it was you're corny. just such a Will lover. No, no, it was corny. It was <laughs> such corny. a Will Smith was, lover. That, that shit was corny. So you pretty much, wait, real quick, real quick. At sidebar, we're going to come back. Okay. So you're not about to be ready for this next year of, of Will Smith slander? Because you know what's coming. From no, literally no, no, every no, single, no, like, no, you got to be ready, no, bro. No. I know you, Will Smith yes, and Beyonce. Yes, I know you love yes, them. Yes, You got to be ready for this. I, okay, cool. So I, I do fuck with Will Smith heavy. But you, I do fuck with you Beyonce You know what's coming, heavy. bro. I know what's coming, right? But Are you going to be okay with this? Can I just speak to the the, <laughs> the the severity of that moment? Uh, no, no, for real. Because <laughs> Will Smith wasn't a random stranger who ran up on stage to hurt a comedian. That's not the narrative that we push in. Kind of. No, it's not, bro. <laughs> you no, know, yo, fuck you, bro. Fuck you. No, it's not. It wasn't a random occurrence. He just lost his mind and ran up on stage. No, nigga. There's story there. There's backstory there. Do we know the story of the young man that lost his mind and ran up on Dave Chappelle? Fuck you, bro. Well, I'm just, I'm no, just, no, same, no. That's same wrong. shit. No, maybe not, yo, maybe his same, wife was mad not, at him. It's not the maybe same his shit. wife ain't like the joke, bro. It's not the same shit. Maybe his wife ain't like the joke. He's like, nah, fuck shit. that. I'm running up on stage. It's not the same shit. It's not the same <laughs> shit. Because there's stories out there that says that Will Smith told this nigga not to say that joke, and he still said it. So it's not the same thing. We don't know the stories with the... But, 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 but there's stories out there. We don't know it, but they're <laughs> out there, right? So what, what I'm saying is, am I with the, the... A comedian's job is to poke fun at whatever is happening in real life. Yes. And make it funny. Yeah. That's their job. Yes. The jester. Like it's been this is the fucking the birth of time. Mm-hmm. Whatever A D B C whatever year you want to name, right. there's always been a court jester. Yeah. That's a comedian. They take whatever is happening, they make it a joke. That's what their job is, right? right? Dave Chappelle standing on that stage making whatever joke for an individual to run up and try to tackle that man is fucking nuts to me, right? For him to even get Excuse me. For him to even get that close is nuts to me. Yeah. Security loses their job that night. I'm not secure. So why the fuck am I paying y'all? <laughs> I'm going to hire somebody else. That's me. I'm sorry. That's me. Um, the venue, I'm not booking y'all again. Um, there's so much shit that is not happening anymore because there's no way that me as the talent, I'm now subjected to whatever is happening. That's not normal. That's not a normal occurrence. The shit is starting to work, ladies and gentlemen. Uh oh, you got your Saveka. Okay, go yeah, yeah, you in your bag. I ain't huh? been a Saveka in a minute, man. But no, but <laughs> what I'm trying to. Well, I'm listening to it. I'm listening. Just, just to culminate, and I, I get off of it. I feel like when Chris Rock said the, the Will Smith shit, we all jumped to Will Smith and made it, like, we made the joke. We rehashed. Ha, 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 right. We rehashed the joke. Sure. But there's something that should be fucking said to this. Like, I don't think Bill Burr is fucking attacked on stage. I don't think. Well, okay. I, I, I don't so, know, bro. It's it's, it's 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 unsettling to me. Can I give you a little bit more? Sure. So, you know, I'm a hell of a hell of a conspiracy theorist. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I love it. I'm I'm into the blogs and the podcast. You know, I listen to it. I'm I'm, I'm probably the most podcast and this listen this nigga you know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um. So. So. On his uh, that was a Dave Chappelle run when he uh next ne- honestly Netflix is a joke is like a thing right now. Yes. They brought back Arsenio. Like Arsenio be having like it's just a thing. It's Bro, like, fucking um. Yeah. Fucking Pete Davidson was on there talking shit about Kanye. That shit like, was hilarious. Bro. It was. It was funny. Bro. It was funny. When it, yo, real it quick. Funny. It's just, I'm going to keep my it point because I ain't that bad. It was funny. But yo, when Pete Davidson was like, I found out I had AIDS. <laughs> yo, but he was like, not because I had AIDS. He was like, because Kanye. Kanye said it. <laughs> he was like, he's a genius. So. You know what's funny? I, 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 I don't find Pete Davidson funny, but that shit was funny. Biggie. It was funny. I love it, bro. I just, I just want to point. That shit nah, was hilarious. Nah, it was funny. He made that joke and only one more. He said, every time I walk outside, it's 50-50. It's either, hey, Pete Davidson, I fuck with you. Or it's like, yo, fuck you. <laughs> he was like, what the fuck? <laughs> yo, nigga. 
fucking. I was like, yo, P, stop. That's nigga. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, he no, was like was me. Funny. Like I, I didn't do. No, that no. was funny. That nah, was funny. Bro. It was funny. Shout out to that. <laughs> he said, no one has advice for him. Yeah, yeah. Everyone's like, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, sometimes you got you got to go through it yourself <laughs> yeah. in life. He was like, yo, but whatever, whatever's been going on, Netflix is a joke. Is the shit it's right very, now? Yes, man. it's very entertaining. It man. is killing everything, and so, so Dave Chappelle was doing his run of his Netflix is a joke shows. Mm. And apparently Hollywood Bowl holds, uh, um, this is the, the shit I've been, you know, researching because I'm a geek. <laughs> Sorry, guys. No, but it holds a lot of people, fam. Like I've been there twice. Uh, how many? 20,000? More. You know what I mean? Like, the, yeah. You know what I'm saying? More. 100,000? Well. Me, me and Barry went, to be honest. But, let's say 15,000. I don't know. More. 20,000? Like 25. Like 25,000? Yeah, it's, it's it's a lot of people up in there. It's, so, bro, it's a lot of fucking people up in so there. So, it's what happened. I say 25,000 people. Dave Chappelle spent being Dave, but you know he's been doubling down on the LGBTQ and the and the and the um and, and more so not even LGBTQ, the trans. That's his bag. Men. That's his bag. Yeah. And he's on that. That's his bag, yeah. And he's on that. Let me give you some history for real cuz mm-hmm. I'm a geek. So, so he was doubling down tripling down on the fucking trans men. Mm-hmm. And he had been doing this consistently. I think it was like four or five shows. Consistently going in, going in, going in, right? Mm-hmm. All of a sudden, someone runs up on the stage. Okay. Just see how that makes sense? Yep. But let's go Let's go back. How about, I swear to God, about 20 years ago, maybe, I'm lying, maybe 30 years ago, Richard Pryor was at the Hollywood Bowl doubling down on transgender Somebody people. Somebody ran up on stage? No, fam. Okay. But okay. he got panned. It was, oh, he has a meltdown on stage. Richard Pryor is going fucking crazy. Yeah. And it's bad. And it was, you know, the newspapers, oh, what's wrong with Richard? And, and low key, no one knows this. This is just legit because I'm a geek. Um, That's what happened. And so Dave Chappelle hmm. was in the same space doing the same thing 30 fucking 40 years later on some... There's so he did it on there. purpose. Yeah, Dave is moving on. Gotcha. Come on, man. He did that shit on purpose. But all of a sudden, you hear for you know the, on the fourth show, a nigga run up on stage. Mm. So now it begs to be like, well, who let this motherfucker in? Where's security? How the fuck did you get here? You had to, and he said it. You came through mad shit to get to me. He literally said it. He was like, where the fuck did he come from? Like, bro, you jumped over 16 rows to jump, to, to yeah, get yeah, on the stage. Yeah, like, come on, That's man. nuts. You did too much to get to me. Somebody had to let you in, bro. Wow. Somebody had to let you in, fam. So it's like all kind of conspiracies and shit. Because you saw it. You 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 walk in. It's, it's metal detectors. Uh, They make you put, you know, now they make you put your phones up. And I get it's only one. That's why it's only a couple views. Because maybe one nigga had two phones. Mm-hmm. Whatever. That one nigga that worked for T-Mobile. <laughs> like, Stupid. That one nigga that worked for AT&T. Both my was, phones was yeah, up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, but it's just mad conspiracies, but it's on some different shit. Like, you, it don't make sense. So, but at the end of the day, man, I'm happy that Dave Chappelle is good. I'm happy that, you know, it worked out I mean, because, no, because imagine, no, just imagine if he hit the, ro- you know, just imagine. Okay, so, so. You know, that's scary. What, what, what I want to speak to, honestly, I know we're dragging it right now. I'm sorry. We are. I, cool. You got to get to the mic and then get about yes, it. Yes, I, I want to say this one thing and then we can move the mic. Um, does this fuck with comedy? Like, art? Because now, cause now, okay, cool. Let's, let's bring it back to the Will Smith, Chris Rock shit, yeah. right? A joke was made, somebody got slapped. Right. Cool. Right. Now, Dave Chappelle, who was arguably like the number one comedian, is on stage. He gets attacked for his opinion. Right. What the fuck? Like, what's the precedent? Like, wh- like what's the precedent? Yes. Like, like, what's going on with comedic, so, with, with so I, comedic relief right now? So here's like, how it looks. Dave Chappelle is arguably the number one. Yes. At this point, Chris Rock is arguably number two. Arguably. Arguably. I'm not saying... No, but it's arguable according to who you're talking to. Okay. You know what I mean? I, whatever. Sure. So, four? Well, nigga, damn. Like, he's top 10. You know what I'm saying? I get to him. Whatever. He's top a 10. top 10 comedian. Gotcha. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Gotcha. But he got smacked by somebody that wasn't 
So the precedence. You got smacked by somebody who's top 10. Which is fine. Mm-hmm. So the precedence there that was set was that it's okay to walk on the stage. Mm. Regularly. Makes sense. Makes sense. Oh, if I don't like it, I can walk up on stage. Yep. And correct you right then and there. Word. That fucks with the art. Yes. Yes. So being that fan walked up on stage and got his ass beat and got stomped the fuck out. Now niggas like, well, I mean. Am I going to run up on stage? (laughs) And then you got your ass stumped by that comedian and other entertainers. Yeah. Jamie Foxx whooping that ass. Busta Rhymes whooping that ass. Security whooping that ass. Dave Chappelle's like, fuck the nigga too. Jamie Foxx was on the stage, my nigga. He's outside. He's like, what's up? So that that changed. Now that, you said the present, that changed it. Because niggas is like, yo, well, Dave Chappelle ain't Chris Rock. When they said that, it wasn't a... Like an offensive, it's not a slight. It's not, yeah, a little, but not really. It's just kind of like we here with this nigga, cause and this is the reason why I say Chris Rock is arguably because Dave Chappelle not host not gonna walk out on the grant on the Emmys. It's a difference. Facts. Dave Chappelle with the niggas, Chris Rock can still breach the the white people world. He yeah, he with the white people. Like who the fuck gonna run out for Chris Rock at the <laughs> at the uh, <laughs> I can't let nothing ride. I'm so I'm I'm so whack with that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll be whack, but. Uh, Chris, who who gonna run out for Chris Rock at the Met Gala? At the, yeah, at the Met, like do a leaper. Yeah, <laughs> like, <laughs> Billy oh, Eilish is like, fuck Eilish. you, nigga. Like, who the fuck about to run out? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but <laughs> do you understand? Because he's breached a certain type of world. That's funny. But it's just breached. But Dave Chappelle, he started off in that world, but now he got the niggas. Mm-hmm. We all got Dave Chappelle back. That's a fact. We got Chris Rock back too. It's just you was but in a not like Dave. you was in a non nigga atmosphere. Right. <laughs> so we had to stand back and be like, oh, <laughs> we wasn't invited. We watched Dave go through his <laughs> shit, and we still here. That's why niggas like nah, not fuck no fuck that. Now yeah. mind you, if that would have happened, if Chris Rock was on stage at that same event with Dave, it would have been the same thing, mm-hmm. but two different events. I get it. Dave get ain't it. at the. Chris is so. I get it. Let's do this last one to get up out of here, man. We talking about Mike Tyson. Mm Mm-hmm. Cool. Let's Uh, get it. Mike Tyson was on the plane. Random white boys behind him was fucking with him. Drunk boy. Drunk. Old time. Drunk as hell. They was drunk. Fucking with him. Smacking him in the head. Doing all kinds of stupid shit. Mike turned around and fucked them (laughs) niggas up, bro. (laughs) Hands. Straight hands. Love it. Wait, can we we post the video? We gonna post it somewhere. We gonna post the video. Please. Yo, honestly, no. We need this Mike Tyson. No, video. no, we need that. That one, he was on the scene. Bro, like, ah, he was ah, wilding, <laughs> wilding. Ah, ah, he was hurt. throwing straight shots, bang, <laughs> bang, 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 <laughs> fucking them up. Yo, and I love it because they showed a white boy before <laughs> when he drunk. Fuck you, Mike. Fuck you. You're not a motherfucker. Fuck you, Mike. You, you stupid, look, Mike. You look completely stupid different, Stupid, Mike. Didn't you? Yo, then the one you look completely different, huh? Well, he like. <laughs> And then contemplated life. <laughs> he was like, nah, okay, so what did I do wrong? <laughs> how how much, did I get here? How much fucking Seveca was I drinking, nigga? No, he got, nigga? no, bro, he got his ass whooped, bro. Now, so what makes this interesting is that you know how we think about black people. We had a whole conversation about Rico charges. Yeah. I'm like, damn, they about to lock Mike up, nigga. Honestly, did you not think that? I, I'm not going to lie. Just based on... The fucking the trajectory of this country. I yes. thought that Mike was fucked. We was like, damn, I did. Mike can't do that. I did. Like, ah, oh, shit, you hitting white people? Come on, on Mike, you can't Flop. do that. You can't do that. I thought he was done. What? But lo we, and behold, we serve a god. Yes, <laughs> we serve a god. <laughs> you feel me? No, in real life, man. What? I, I, I saw it. Uh, I think I saw it yesterday, but still. It says Mike charge uh, Mike Tyson will not face any charges for alleged plane incident. I'm like, that that's good like, enough for me, bro. <laughs> like, no, but honestly, that, <laughs> that 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 changes the precedent mm-hmm. with a lot of cases because yeah. what happens is people will antagonize somebody who has money, power, or stature. Yes, and then when they react, then they counter sue. Right. This changes that. That changes everything. Bro, you're, you're not just going to fuck with me. That's it. And then expect me not to defend myself. I love it. Like, you're harassing me. When I tell you that's one of the greatest, like, stories, like, it's been a lot happening this week, as we've talked about today, but 
that was one of the good. I was so excited just the fact that no charges. He ain't got to do 30 days facts. community service yeah, or facts. nothing crazy. Mm-hmm. Fuck that. Leave me alone, nigga. I'm not bothering you, bro. I was not fucking with you, That's bro. That's it. I was not. You're fucking with For me. For once, it's like the law be getting... Yo, every once in a while, the law be getting it right. Yeah. God, it take... It take... It take 35,000... years in the mule. Fuck, nigga. Mm. They got it right, though. They got it right here, man. And shout out to Mike Tyson, bro. Whoop that ass. Listen, <laughs> Whoop that ass, but man. I, I'm, I'm with you on all levels. If a nigga is fucking with you, no matter what age you are, whoop that whoop ass. Whoop that ass. One time. That's it. Yo. What's gonna happen? They're not gonna fuck with you no That's more. That's it. Oh no, he gonna yo, pff, yo the pit. I'm, I'm gonna do this one more time. This was how he looked in the other picture. <laughs> <laughs> yo, that picture amazing. Oh, fucked up and bleeding and shit. <laughs> like, what the fuck wrong with you? You, it's still Mike Tyson, my nigga. Relax. Like, what's wrong with you? <laughs> you thought you had a shot. <laughs> <laughs> You thought he was going to be like, leave me alone. Fuck that. Oh, my God. No, but low key, Mike Tyson is 60. He still got like two or three belts somewhere. No, nah, but, like but he, and the he, thing is, Mike Tyson, guys. if you fuck with Mike Tyson right now, he has one of the illest podcasts. Mm-hmm. He's super cool. He smokes a lot of weed. Yeah. And low key, we never knew that he was intelligent as he is. Facts. My nigga knows facts. a lot. Like, like. He knows facts. Like, yeah. he is that dude that's like, no, no, no. The, the, the life is like this. He just talk funny. Mm. That's honestly what started him into being a bully because he just got a funny way that he talk. Yeah. They always like, made me look at his stupid voice. Yeah, yeah he's he's like, like, I'll fuck you up, though. So it's like, he went past that. I lo- Yo, I don't know if you ever get some time. For real, for real. Mm-hmm. I feel like Lamar. Support Mike Tyson podcast, bro. No, 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 because it's, 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 it's really... It's really good. And we get to see this one of our- This is not an ad, but we just advertise another nigga right. shit. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. I didn't want to cut you off. Go it's ahead. just good, though. It's just good because we get to learn shit. No, seriously. No, but it's good, though. Because, like, he, you you, you know, because we used to, we grew up with Mike Tyson, a bully. But, dog, he's not that. Mm-hmm. And, and, man, it's amazing. It's amazing. Straight up. So, my bad. I just like that he will defend himself no matter what. But why wouldn't I fuck you? With that. But I but fuck you with also that. gotta wait because if you're the heavyweight champion, it's a crime for you to use your hands to and beat somebody else. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. we know you're a professional fighter. But that that's what they were banking on. Yeah, I'm gonna fuck with this guy. He's a professional fighter. If he puts hands on me, I'll counter sue. But. The video footage shows that you antagonized the whole situation. And it was long, though. Like, this he nigga kept... was, bro, he was sitting there minding his business, and you're fucking with him. Kept fucking with him. Kept so... fucking with him. And, 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 I, and what I found out is they said that he threw a drink on him. Oh, that's OD. So imagine you just talking shit. It's like, all right, bro, relax. That's OD. I'm going to fuck you up, too. Like, bro, you I'm throwing you drinks on me for? I'm, I'm, come on, I'm man. I'm going to fuck you up. <laughs> Period. I'm going to fight. <laughs> At this point. We ain't got shit else to say. That's it. So... Um, Listen, man. Are we done with with with, with hot topics, I, bro? I, I think we done made it. Have through. we have we made it? Have we finished, bro? We done made it through. Yeah, that's everything. That's everything. Cool. Well, bye. <laughs> no, just joking. Um, <laughs> no, it's been it's been a good show, man. Wait, uh, no, because I, I was with you. Like, the word <laughs> holla <laughs> click. No, no, no. <laughs> I just want to say it's been a good show, man. Um, salute to Barry. Um, yeah. He doing salute, his thing. S- salute to uh, Lamar. Lamar, yeah. Something about stealing some girl's car. He doing his thing. <laughs> um, Listen, bro. Okay. <laughs> At the end of the day, I don't know. Let's go. Um, press the like, share, <laughs> share. subscribe, Fuck with y'all. Uh, drop a comment, um, send us to your peoples who who love good conversations. Um, and we out here for it, man. And that's that. That's what we do, man. We out. Peace. See y'all next week. Man, I just want to thank you so much for tuning into Willow Wednesdays. We love and appreciate facts, the facts, support. Facts, facts. Yeah, yeah. If you ain't done so already, please hit the like and subscribe button for the YouTube page. Big facts. Yes, yes, yes. And click the bell for notifications. Mm-hmm. And make sure to join that family page, the Willow Wednesday family page on Facebook. Mm-hmm. Peace.